David, great to have you back. Good morning. So, I mean, my, my feeling is this market certainly isn't good, but it's not that bad yet. It could get a lot worse, in part because it hasn't been so bad for long. Like those of us who remember, you know, really bad markets, it, it kind of stinks for a long time. Well, it depends where you're sitting. You know, I think if you're just looking at the indices, which are so weighted to the large caps, you don't really realize how much carnage there, there's been. From where I'm sitting in Silicon Valley, this is the worst environment uh, that I've seen since the dot-com crash, even worse than the Great Recession of 2008, 2009. And the reason is because, you know, again, below those, those large caps who dominate the indices, all the sort of the, the recent IPOs, the SPACs, the growth stocks, the, you know, the newer listings, the SaaS companies, the fintech companies, they've all been hammered by what's happened over the last six months. We're talking about 70, 80 percent plus corrections. And that has caused an enormous reset in, uh, in Silicon Valley. It started in the public companies. Now it's trickled down to growth companies. And it's basically caused a chilling effect on the whole ecosystem. This is the worst environment I've seen since, um, you know, against something like 2001, 2002. Yeah, but aren't we still, uh, I shouldn't say we, so many mm -hmm. uh, entrepreneurs in Silicon Valley still kind of in the denial stage of this. We were just talking to Bill Gurley about this earlier in the week. It's hard for people to accept that the valuation they thought they had is not necessarily the real valuation right now. And it's going to take some real indicators uh, coming up for that to happen, right? I mean, the public market matters for the, for the private markets in that sense. I, I wonder what you think is going to happen with the IPO market going forward for the rest of 22 and into 23, and how significant that's going to be for showing us where we are? I think it's going to be significantly chilled. I just think that there's going to be a lot fewer companies going public than there were over the last couple of years. Um, you know, there's going to be more scrutiny towards those companies. Uh, growth valuations in general are going to be lower. Uh, there's going to be a lot more down rounds. There's going to be a lot more structure in deals where founders are seeking to preserve a valuation that would be hard to get today. So, yeah, I mean, it's a very negative environment. Now, to your point about, you know, what, what Bill said about, um, about sort of founders adapting, you know, the reality is that venture prices are more sticky in the public markets. They get marked continuously every day, whereas in venture markets, you only get a mark when you raise a funding round. And a lot of founders made hay while the sun shined and raised a lot of money last year, and they have some discretion over when they're going to go raise. And so a lot of founders don't want to raise right now for the very valid reason that the market is the venture market is terrible, uh, but eventually, at the end of the year, going into next year, founders will be forced to raise, and we're going to get a lot of new marks, and we're going to basically see that the price levels today are very different than they were last year. And I think founders are already getting the memo. I think there was some denial of this maybe in Q1, but the founders I've talked to now uh, are pretty aware of what's going on, and I think the mood has shifted very quickly, uh, even among founders in, in Silicon Valley.